Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echa, Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, Ve'chol Levalcha, Ve'chol Nafshecha, Ve'chol Meldecha. When they came to Jesus in Mark chapter 12, they uh, invited him into a debate that was going on in the day. And it was, what is the number one commandment of Scripture? That's what Jesus would have said when he responded. In English it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your might. And then he went on to say that the second commandment is like the first and it's to love your neighbor. He went into great detail to explain that loving your neighbor means loving somebody who may not be like you socially, who may not be like you economically, who may not be like you politically, but love them anyway. It doesn't mean condone them, uh, their behavior, it doesn't mean uh, have to say that they're right or agree with them. He just said love them. That's so important, I think, in today's world and as people who call ourselves followers of Jesus to understand that reality, what we're called to, that our Master, that our Lord says to love people who maybe on a natural side we wouldn't want to. Our faith should change us. Our faith should make us look different than the rest of the world. Hey, listen. Uh, Pastor Brian, and we're going to uh, Israel in November, November 10th through the 20th. And I truly believe it's a life-changing experience. It's the opportunity to dig into culture and history and the land and to put your feet where Jesus walked. The whole goal is to draw us closer to God, uh, to make the Bible come alive, and just to really have a, a better grasp when we come back home how we're supposed to live out our lives like Jesus lived out his. And if you've got any questions, go to our website. It's newhopecincinnati.com. If you don't find your answers there, then feel free to shoot me an email. I'd love to talk to you. God bless. Have a great night.